We're looking at 0 to 1000 MHz on the HAMEG Spectrum Analyzer. You can see the data here. The COM trends that are supposed to stop at 30 MHz are spewing out pollution up to 1000 MHz, as you can see. It is not as much, and you can see the amplitude increase as we go down in frequency. There are some nice big chunks here at 850 megahertz. We are using the E-Field probe close in with a background noise of 80 odd dBs. We are at this frequency 20 dBs above that. Coming down in frequency to 65 megahertz, there is a colossal amount of energy. This is close in. We are not doing EMC compliance tests. We are just demonstrating that these are transmitting wirelessly, which is a real world situation, given that an outbuilding may be on a 240 volt supply, supplied by an inverter or a generator. The same could be true if these devices were to be used on a caravan site, where no main supply was available. We will now unplug the Comtrends. Now listen to the shortwave radio. The file transfer has stopped and the frequency is clear. This is the only connection to my Toshiba laptop running Windows 7, which is connected to the Comtrend, which in turn is plugged into the wireless link. You can see the other Comtrend plugged into the mains and connected to my BT Home Hub. Right. Um, well, I'm actually video. Yeah, I'm actually videoing this, so this again is 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 further evidence. Um, You're videoing our conversation. Our huh? conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. I was I, I got I pulled my voice recorder out of my pocket, but I know I don't need to uh, use it now because you're doing the job for me. That's right. Would you like me to call you back on uh, a pair of BT com trends? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, if you like, mate, that's not a problem, I'm here. Right. I'm, I'm... Stand by and uh, that will come up in a moment. But, but before we Right, I'm now going to call Nige back with the uh Comtrend units connected wirelessly this time. So one Comtrend is plugged into the mains and uh, it connected to my BT Home Hub up there by the window. The other one is connected to the generator down at the bottom of the garden. So I'm just now going to call Nige back on Skype. Hello, Nige. Hello, mate. Right, well, this is now on a pair of lovely white Comtrends. Fantastic. Do you want to hear what they do to shortwave? Uh, oh, I'm very familiar with what they do to shortwave. <laughs> okay. I don't think I need to worry you with much more of that, do I? Um, no, no, I'm quite familiar with the sound, but it's interesting to hear the noise that it's generating while you're actually using it wirelessly speaking to me. That's a new experience. For the avoidance of doubt, in case it is suggested we achieved communications via a magnetic field, we will now check for this with a magnetic probe. This is held first on the Ethernet cable. Now, on the mains wiring, we are picking up the pollution emitted by the Comtrends, whereas the Ethernet cables are clean. The Ethernet cables are separated like so. We are now using the Ethernet leads supplied by Devolo for their devices and we are looking at the spectrum analyzer at the magnetic field of the wireless link. That is with the probe on the mains lead 
and now we are looking at the field from the Ethernet lead. And now with the probe removed. Right, this is with the Davolo units connected up as per the manufacturer's recommendations. One is connected to the laptop in my office. The other is connected in the house in the back bedroom. And this is streaming ITV player from one machine to the other. Now again, we're quite a long way out from the boundaries of my property, just to give you some idea. This is the BBC World Service on 17.792 megahertz. You can hear the popping of the Devilos and the rasping noise as it picks up a packet cluster from ITV player. And you can hear how it impairs quite drastically the reception of the BBC. Now looking at the Belkin Gigabit power line adapters, downloading files via the main circuitry of the house as they are designed and as allowed by Ofcom. You'll see that all of that noise on the spectrum analyzer is the Belkin polluting the spectrum. The noise you hear is on the Eaton radio on the BBC World Service frequency and there is no sign of the BBC World Service. Switched off the file transfer and you can still hear the popping of the Belkins but the real big row has gone. And you can hear the World Service struggling to get through the popping from the Belkin that is plugged in at the moment. That's the other Belkin removed. Ah, that's, that's the one Belkin removed, the other is still plugged in. And that sounds like the other one has been removed altogether. We can hear the shortwave radio again. We have a Hameg Spectrum Analyzer with a Hameg HZ530 electric field probe. The Spectrum Analyzer is running off a mains supply fed by a long choked off cable choked at both ends to ensure that there was no possibility of any inductive coupling to the house wiring and powered by generator. <laughs> 